You know what a black box is, right? The aircraft flight recorders that store flight data. But do you know what a blue box is? In the 1970s, hackers used the device to gate crash phone company networks allowing free but illegal long distance phone calls. These hackers were known as phone freaks. Now till 1971, most did not know about this mythical blue box. Not till journalist Ron Rosenbaum unleashed it via an Esquire article. Among those who read it were a 20 year old and a 16 year old, both soon obsessed with building their own blue box, a task these freaks would easily achieve within a few months. What followed was a partnership. Their first, the though brief was entirely illegal. Building and selling blue boxes. The roles were clearly set. The elder would build, the younger would sell. And boy, could the younger one sell. He sold over 100 boxes at $170 a piece in 1972 as a 16 year old, clearly a born salesman. They didn't stop there though. To ensure referrals, they decided to offer a guarantee. A tiny piece of paper inside each box offering lifetime unconditional repair. Soon these blue boxes were everywhere. Everyone making unlimited free long distance calls. Illegal unlimited free long distance phone calls. All this phone chatter but naturally dialed in the FBI. They confiscated several dozen blue boxes all which packed a tiny note offering a lifetime guarantee. Despite heavy sleuthing, the FBI was unable to track down the manufacturers. Good thing that, since four years later, this dynamic duo would establish a company you might know about, Apple. The 20-year-old building those boxes was Sir Steve Wozniak and the 16-year-old salesman was, well, you know who he was.